I was sent one of these 30 amp power supplies, asked to give my opinion on it, make this short video, so here goes. Here's everything you're gonna get. You're gonna get the uh, unit itself. It comes with some instructions and a quick start guide, as well as a couple alligator clips here with banana plugs on the other end, so you can quickly start testing and charging things with these uh, systems here. You got all kinds of options. So you've got a um, USB plug right here in the center. You've got these two connection points here. You can either plug in these Canon are these banana plugs types in there, or you can unthread this and you can put some loops on there, or you can pinch a cable behind it and tighten it down. It's worked really good. Uh, it's a very quiet unit. doesn't make really any noise while you're running it until you get it really hot. If you're putting a lot of amperage through it for quite some time, then the fan might kick on. But, you know, here in a cool um, location, it's just not ever coming on. It's completely quiet. It's very nice. Um, this is a really cool tool. You do a lot of things with it. So here I'm going to set a... Uh, amperage of about two amps at 12 volts and i'm going to use an automotive fuse here like this and i'll just show you how that fuse is supposed to sustain two amps and it will we're going to connect that on there like this get a little spark and what you can see is that i've got my uh, fuse here everything's operating fine i've got two amps flowing through it um, the voltage dropped down from 12 volts down to this tiny little bit of drop this is the amount of voltage that's being lost really in the wires that are coming out of the power supply and going back in but all two amps are flowing through just as expected not a problem um, this is great now what i could do i could adjust this current the amperage here and increase it and let's see if this little fuse will it'll take it or if it's going to blow if it goes too high, that fuse is going to pop. So we'll take it up to, say, 3 amps here. And now we're going to go to 4. You're going to start to see this thing start to get hot. You're going to get a little bit of redness there. Let's go to 5 amps. And that's probably about the limit for this one. Definitely going to see this thing start to get red. And it's going to start to have an issue here. And now we'll go to 6, and you'll see it. It's probably going to get smoking hot there little flash and a pop and now that fuse has blown and now our amperage goes down to zero because now there's no connection there's nothing going on here this fuse is no longer any good doesn't work no amperage is flowing through it we're back to 12 volts with zero so that's just a little bit about how a power supply like this can work lots of fun you can do all kinds of troubleshooting if you've got things here that take small batteries ca calculate up the voltage figure out the amperage you would need you could do some testing like on led lights like this you can charge batteries like this with a small um, uh, charge to them. You could go, you know, say, hey, this, uh, this will take a 0.4 amps for about 5 to 10 hours. Or you could do a whole 4 amps for about 30 minutes in a fast charge. So this power supply could be useful for things like this, charging up batteries for your drones, your RC cars, anything like that. Really handy to have around the shop. I'd highly recommend. Hey, if this video was helpful, um, please um, come back and check out some of the other ones that I've gotten created here. I hope this was uh, helpful to you. And as always, I hope you have a great day.